Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading, the you and them love reading. This will be focused on the person that you're interested in, um, how they feel about you, what are they thinking, what's going on in your connection. So I'll be having a spread here with you on one side and them on the other, as well as a um, some information for like what's going on between you and a potential outcome as well. So I'm just going to get right into it. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general love reading. So it will not and cannot resonate with every single Gemini watching. So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it's not your reading, it just wasn't your reading this time around, maybe next week's will be. So I'm going to be using the Wild Animal, nope, Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. I just call it the Animal Spirit deck, but I always try to give you the full title in the reading. Um, just to kind of get an idea of how you're feeling about them and how they're feeling about you. All right, so for Gemini Spirit. Messages for Gemini in regards to love. Messages for Gemini, please, regarding the person they are in a connection with. So let's see. They want to have you on one side on the left here, well, left for me, and then them on this side. So we'll start with you, Gemini. Regarding the person you are thinking about at this time or are in a connection with at this time, how do you feel about this person? What are your energies towards this person? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy my readings, pl please hit the like button or subscribe because that helps out my channel a lot. So let's see. Ooh, I want that one. Lion. Interesting. Lion is very uh, mature energy. They are protectors, wise. Um, people think that they are... Uh, dangerous and impulsive but really they they think about things before they act very brave energies i'm gonna pick um open the book for this one so you, just in case there's anything else that kind of shows up or resonates with you patient regal complete master personal and spiritual growth inspires some and intimidates others therefore the line is respected by all but known intimately by few some mistake the lion as hard to ac access or aloof yet those with a keener eye know better lions are observant stealth and precise in their words and actions they don't waste energy or resources self-mastery is available to all epitome of peace and strength okay so I'm, I'm taking this a few ways, Gemini. Um, some of you, I feel the person you're interested in has no idea how you feel about them. Um, others of you, I feel like your person sees you as intimidating or maybe someone they can't really approach right now. Um, through it all though, I, I think you're good at hiding your true emotions, um, at least for the Geminis that I'm reading about for this spread so far. Um, I think you're also patient and not willing to settle here. So let's see. Tell me about Gemini's person. Spirit, tell me about Gemini's person. What are their thoughts, feelings? What are their energies at this time towards Gemini? Oh, we got the hummingbird. Not sure. Oh, my deck was reversed. I was like, why is that reverse? Uh, the hummingbird. Lots of energy is what I just, I mean, that's what instantly came to mind for me. A lot of energy here with the hummingbird. Let me um, look at that one. Okay, I am in, okay, there it is. Uh, endless well of energy and positivity. 
It has learned where to gather nectar and it returns to this, these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. Nature, creativity, exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet every moment worth savoring. Smart, curious, loves to learn. So what I'm seeing here is that there's, um, at least when your person thinks about you, there's a lot of energy, um, a lot of interest. Um, I feel like your person sees you as a positive and energetic influence in their lives. I think there's a lot going on emotionally for your person. We'll see if I'm right about that, but that's what I'm getting so far. Um, there's a lot of energy here, uh, but, but positive energy, you know, like almost like someone's heart racing when they see you or think about you. So let's get into this. I'm using the... Uh, light Sears Tarot today. Spirit messages for Gemini regarding the person they are thinking about. Messages for Gemini. I also love that these cards are looking at each other. <laughs> that doesn't always happen, but it's happening here. Oh, I want to flip that. All of the decks that I'm using are linked down below in case you're curious or want one for yourselves. Move this over. So let's start with you, Gemini. Spirit, tell me more about Gemini's energies regarding this connection. Tell me more, please, about Gemini's energies towards this person. Two of Wands. So there's potential here. You're looking at the possibilities of something, um, what path to take when it comes to this person. I feel like a lot of you are also kind of waiting, um, waiting for like a sign, like a green light. What else for Gemini? What else can you tell me about Gemini's energies at this time? Ooh, Seven of Swords reversed. Why? Again, I just get the sense that whoever this Gemini is, that whoever, whatever Gemini is I'm talking to today, um, I feel like you've kept something to yourself when it comes to this person. And I think you haven't been completely honest with this person in the in, in terms of like how you feel because you don't know where it's gonna go. You don't know if they maybe feel the same way or um, it's, it's almost like you don't really wanna put yourself out there or put your heart out there without being sure. And it's almost like you're very like calm and collected, you know? But at the same time, like deep within, like deep down, you might appear calm and collected on the outside, but deep down, there's like a lot of stress and a lot of like, I don't want them to know how I feel. I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Um, what if they realize that I feel more for them than, you know, I've let on or something like that. What else for Gemini? Like maybe you've, um, maybe you know deep down that you have a lot of feelings for this person, but you don't want them to know it all. <laughs> That's kind of the energy I'm picking up so far. We'll see when I clarify. What else for Gemini? Ooh, that is way too many. But I love that the Seven of Wands came out there because that's totally the energy that I'm picturing you in. You know, kind of like a little closed off, thinking of yourself, of your heart in a protection, like trying to protect yourself. On guard, you know? What else can you tell me for Gemini? Five of Pentacles. No, Gemini. <laughs> I don't like this energy for you. Feeling kind of left out, worried about a situation or a person. Um, I really do feel like a lot of this is, is coming down to fears of abandonment, fears of being taken advantage of. You might feel lonely at this time, like you're never going to find love. So tell me about your person. Spirit, tell me about Gemini's person. What are their thoughts or feelings 
at this time? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Gemini's person, please. The wheel. Wow. Timing. Good news. Good luck. I feel like your person's waiting for the right time. Let's see. Anything else for Gemini's person? What else can you tell me for Gemini's person? Eight of Swords reversed. Well, they're breaking free of something. And I feel like very... um. It's almost like you are very calm and collected and this person's kind of like they can't wait to tell you something or open up or be free of whatever they're fearful about, you know? And whereas over here, I see you very calmly kind of sitting around, maybe moping or feeling bad over the way you feel or maybe worried or stressed about how you feel, but not really acting that way. Tell me more for Gemini's person. What else can you tell me for Gemini's person? Ace of Cups reversed. Something happened between you. I feel like if there was a love connection here, it never really took off anywhere like stable or you broke this person's heart. Or at least they're, they're thinking that. So what happened in this connection? Spirit, what happened in this connection with Gemini? And this other person, what's going on in this connection? Mutual energies, please. What are the mutual energies in this connection? What happened between Gemini and this person? Yeah, three of swords, definitely. Something happened here between you and this person. Heartbreak, pain, what else? What else happened between Gemini and this person? Four of cups. Okay, so whatever happened between you and this person, whether it was a third party, whether it was something painful, disappointing. Um, I feel like it's almost like someone wanted to just be done with it and not like no longer they were interested in, in, in this other person or this connection. The disappointment was too great. Um, I feel like maybe your person was the one that kind of caused heartbreak here possibly. Um, or you cause heartbreak for them. So when they think about you, they think about how much and how much pain they're in, you know? Let me move these over. I have some room here. So whatever happened between you, though, I feel like you still think about each other. I know you definitely are thinking about this person. Um, your person is breaking free of something here. Um they were probably fearful about speaking to you or fearful about how you were going to take a certain situation. Um, but I feel like they're breaking free of that fear in order to make something happen here. So let's see. I'm not going to clarify every single card here, but because I feel like the message is pretty clear. Um, but I do want to get down to this Three of Swords and a few other cards here. So let's see. Spirit, help me clarify for Gemini. What is this Three of Swords about? What's this Three of Swords about for Gemini? Oh, we got the moon here. Pisces energy with the moon. Of course, my cards just went everywhere here. Um, so something here I feel... There was either doubt or confusion or something that wasn't being communicated, um, a secret perhaps that caused pain. Let me get one more for this Three of Swords. Can I get one more? Ten of Swords. Yeah, it caused an ending. So there has been some sort of ending between you and this person. 
Some of you are maybe feel betrayed. Whatever happened though, I feel like you lost interest in this connection. At least you made decisions that said that you were done. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Even if your feelings were still tied up in this person or this situation, um, you kind of hit that maybe and just ended whatever needed to end or cut this off in some way or at least acted like you weren't interested anymore. Now, this could have been your person as well that maybe you were hiding something and they ended it. So feel free to flip it if it resonates because this is mutual energies here. So either one of you could be involved here. Some of you, I feel, whoever was the one that ended things, you are very disappointed and almost like, what now? You know, love is so hard. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Like, why is this so hard? Why is doing love or meeting people so difficult? Tell me about this Four of Cups. What's this Four of Cups about? But I do feel like your person is definitely still interested here or is maybe wanting a second chance. We'll see when I clarify what that Eight of Swords is about. But tell me uh, about this Four of Cups. What's this Four of Cups about for Gemini? The Emperor. Aries energy here with the Emperor. Again, I feel like you did something about this. Whoever was, whoever lost interest or was, you know, the one that cut this off, like you took charge and you did something about this. You probably initiated an ending or ran away from this connection or like wasn't, you know, stood up for yourself in this connection. You might have been the one that found this out, whatever secret this was, you found out and you decided to end it. So let's see, what's the Seven of Swords reverse down here? This could have been you that found something out about this person. You might have caught this person doing something um, or they caught you doing something. Let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Where's the Seven of Swords reverse here? Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Your intuition told you about this. You had a hunch, a feeling. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords reverse. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords reverse. Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, this was a burden that you set down. You couldn't deal with this anymore. Um, I feel like there was maybe, for some of you that I'm um, talking to, uh, you weren't okay with the fact that this wasn't a defined thing. Um, you weren't okay with the secrets. You weren't okay with the not knowing. You weren't okay with the doubting. You know, you wanted something that was stable and grounded and you already like knew what to expect. I feel like whatever this was that you found out here, your intuition told you. Um, for others of you, this is you hiding, being caught, catching feelings or, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I never say that. Or, um, you, um... This had to do with how you truly felt about someone. Maybe it surprised you that you had a lot of emotion for someone. Um, maybe you had a lot of emotional baggage or a lot of um, uh, an emotional attachment to this person and it became a burden. So why the two of wands? I felt this was a difficult decision. If you were the one to end things, it wasn't easy. Tell me about the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands about? Nine of Swords reversed, no longer being fearful, no longer worried or stressed. You're looking at other options, seeing what else is out there. I think a lot of you too are thinking, well, I don't have to deal with this. There's more that's out there for me. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Maybe at first you were really anxious about ending things or dealing with this person, but I feel like you're over that. Tell me more about this two of wands, please. Nine of cups reversed. Yeah, this was, I feel like this was a wish that never took off or a, a wish that wasn't granted for you, um, that stressed you out or brought anxiety, um, a lot of worry and stress here. 
and you kind of have overcome that because you're looking at what else is out there. However, I think deep down you still miss this person or you're still kind of feeling abandoned or lonely or something like that. You know, it's like you accept what happened, but you're not really okay with it, if that makes sense. So what's this Eight of Swords reversed about for your person? What's this Eight of Swords reversed about for Gemini? And their person. The Magician reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more for this Eight of Swords reverse? So something here, hmm. King of Pentacles reversed Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Then I have the High Priestess reversed at the bottom. So I feel like your person has been hiding something too. Your person has allowed themselves to be trapped. And so they're not able to manifest. Hmm. I'm just not picking up good energy here with the magician reverse. They could also be a manipulative energy. King of Pentacles reverse tends to be very selfish energy. Also, they care a lot about material things rather than what really matters. Um, they lack resources. They're, they're, uh, in, uh, there's an imbalance. So they're not very grounded. Um, so these two together, I feel like these aren't good energies here. But I have it with clarifying an eight of swords reverse, which is all about seeing a way out of a situation. So there's a few ways that you could take this. Either your person is trapped in a situation of their own making right now, and they're breaking free of this negative energy that's surrounding them. Or your person is breaking free of a situation, but it's not, they're not doing the right thing when it comes to that. So, you know, it's like their approach is not the best with the magician reversed and the king of pentacles reversed. Um, king of pentacles reversed can be extremely stubborn as well. Um, so this could be somebody that, you know, it's like because they're so stubborn, they're unable to manifest what they want to manifest. They're delaying something be manifested here. Very strange. This is throwing me off, to be honest. This message here. Because it doesn't really go with these. I mean, it's almost like maybe the timing is just not right. Or the timing will be right for your person. Maybe they're waiting for the timing to be right here in order to act. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, if my cards can stay in my hand. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. You know, whatever the case is here for your person, they're, with the Ace of Cups reversed, they're not happy, not emotionally satisfied, heartbroken, disappointed. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, I got two. Justice and Six of Pentacles reversed. So something here, it's like they're waiting for the right time to make something balanced. Libra energy with the Justice card. Or maybe the wheel is turning in their favor to write a situation. Maybe this is how they behave towards you. Maybe they were greedy or selfish and it caused them to be kind of like try to manipulate the situation to their benefit. Um, and I feel like this was something that they beat the, themselves up about when it came to you. And so now it's like they're just waiting for the right time to to fix things. What's at the bottom here? Two of Pentacles reversed. Going back and forth, making a decision. One of these Pentacles has dropped for your person. They, they're not able to keep this up, whatever this unbalanced situation is. They, they maybe have been trying to do too much or have been struggling with their emotions about, you know, the decision they have to make, you know, so it's like their emotions play games with them. And so they can't decide. So with the two of pentacles reverse, it could be that the decision has been made for them. Um, or it could just be that again, your person has made a choice. Very interesting. And I feel like your person is someone that tends to be uh, like a doer, uh, makes things happen. Uh, they don't really hesitate. Um, they, 
tend to go after what they want. Um, and so I feel like this is, this has been a challenge for your person dealing with this, with the emotions of either what they've done or whatever happened between you. Because typically I feel your person is someone that if there's a problem, they want to just go ahead and fix it. But I don't think this is, this situation between you is something like that. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you and what kind of situation this is. But I just, I'm not picking up the energy here that this is something that like a conversation will fix. There's a lot more to it. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.